Hey everyone, this is Josh Carney. I'm a recording engineer, musician, producer, and composer, and welcome back to another Studio One 5 course. In this course, I'll demonstrate just about everything there is to know about MIDI recording and editing in Studio One version 5. This will include recording and sequencing, editing MIDI data, quantization, step recording, using the pattern editor, the MIDI editor tools, continuous controller automation, MIDI note effects like the arpeggiator and quarter, and I'll also cover the new score view within the MIDI editor, which is a score editor that allows you to sequence with traditional music notation. So first, let me just set up a new song. So I'll just click new song here. I'll give my new song a name. I'll just call this MIDI song one. You can choose the location where you want to save this. I'll just save it in my songs folder. That's just fine. You can set your bit depth and sample rate here. I'll just keep it at 48 and 24. When working with musical projects, especially with MIDI, you want your time base to be set to bars so things can synchronize to musical values. I'm going to bump up the BPM a bit here. I'll make it 128 BPM. Time signature of 4-4 is just fine. And if you click here, you can set your key signature of the song. So if you're not sure what key the song is in, you can just click the middle here and keep it blank. You can always change it later. I'm going to start with A minor just to kind of keep it simple. And I will keep my stretch audio files option on, but I will turn off play overlaps. We'll come back to both of these a bit later in the course. Then I'll click OK. And this will bring me to the song page. I'll press T to bring up the add tracks dialog. I'll just give this a name. I'll call it instrument. And uh, you can select the type of track here, audio, instrument, automation, or folder. I'll select instrument. You can colorize the track any color you like, or you can just simply select auto color. That's what I'll do. I'll leave the input blank for now because we need to add a MIDI controller in here in order to be able to control our instrument. And you can choose either a new instrument or an existing instrument. But since I don't have any instruments in my song already, nothing's going to show up here from this menu. So I could select new instrument here and then select an instrument from the list here. This is a list of all the included instruments plus any third party instruments I might have. So if you want to start off with Mai Tai, for example, you can just select that. For now, I'm going to select none because I'll show you another way to select instruments. Then I'll click OK. Here's our instrument track. I'll just zoom up the track header there. And if I arm an input monitor the track and play a few notes on my MIDI controller, you'll see that nothing happens. There's no activity on the track whatsoever. And that's because I haven't set up a MIDI controller yet. Now the good news is once you set up your MIDI controller the first time, it's a global preference that's stored for all of your other Studio One songs. So you don't have to go back and do this for every single project you create. Under this All Inputs menu, I'll click here, and then I'll go down to Configure, and this will bring up the External Devices tab and the Preferences. Another way to get here is to press Command, Comma, or Control, Comma on a PC, and then select External Devices. Now you'll see that I have no external devices set up, so I'm going to click Add, and there's a bunch of presets for various different devices. I'm just going to choose New Keyboard. I'm using a Novation Launch Key, so I'll name it that way. And then down here from the Receive From menu, you can select any USB connected MIDI device. So I'll select the Launch Key MIDI here, and that's it. I'll just click OK, and you'll see that the Launch Key is now loaded up in my external devices in my preferences. So now what I can do is go back to my instrument track here, and under All Inputs, I can select that MIDI controller as an input device. So now when I play some notes on my MIDI controller, you'll see that I get some activity. Now this is not an audio monitor here, this is just a MIDI monitor. And what this does is it shows you MIDI activity. Now MIDI notes do not contain any sound whatsoever. They just contain control messages that can be sent to either hardware or software instruments, software synthesizers, or virtual instruments as they're often called. And the instrument takes the MIDI data and converts it into an audible sound. So this is just a MIDI monitor per se. It's not a uh, an actual audio monitor, but it is confirming that I'm getting MIDI input, so that's good. Now over in the browser here, you can press F5 or function F5 to toggle this. Under the home tab, you'll see an option for instruments, so I'll click on that. And if you scroll down to the personas category here, you'll see all five instruments that are included with Studio One. 
Now you can click on one of these and you can select presets from the browser, or you can simply drag and drop the instrument onto your instrument track. Cool, so I'm getting signal. If I wanna choose a different instrument, I can come up to the default menu up here and you can choose a different preset. So let's say I want a synth pad. I'll go to pads and I'll choose this one here called Anthem 1. So that's just the basic MIDI setup in Studio One 5. In the next video, I'll show you how to save your own instrument presets and record MIDI sequences.